Hello, my name is Anand Bean and today I would like to show you how to increase the code coverage without writing useless uh, tests, unit tests for getters, setters, default constructors or even to string methods. So I have here now a reasonable Java E project, what means reasonable. So we have one message factory with uh, some uh, business logic, so at least we have one if statement. And uh, green font means it's code covered, so it's uh, it's tested. And bigger font means it's somehow complex in in, uh, in relative to the other classes. So if we take a look at the messages resource, nothing happens here, so it it is not tested. So this code is not tested because there is no cyclomatic complexity. And the JAXRS configuration is just empty. So uh, we could write unit tests for that to increase uh, to increase the code coverage, but it would be pointless. So the problem right now is we only have 58% of code coverage. So what, what it means is this project would never pass any quality uh, metrics um, uh, or any QA department. Why? Because the code coverage too, is too low. So we could increase this again by just writing the uh, unit tests, but um, the unit tests are pointless. So how to do this? Um, so let's take a look at the source code here of the dashboard and um, so take a look at the sources and I would just like to reload the dashboard and we can see there is a JS and nav and we have a, a short app.js script so I would like to save it to overrides and what overrides means is um, uh, this script is saved locally and I can override the origin script with my version of it so um so what it means if I, for instance, add console log, uh, hello to QA, and just reload that, we see we see hello to QA. So now what I would like to do is to take a look what this actually is. So I would like ins like to inspect that, and we see this is a span with the ID M M coverage. So I will go back to the sources, and now what it can do. We can say document query 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 selector, and what you, what I what I would like to do is to select the ID M coverage, and what I get back is a const, uh, and I call it coverage. And now what I can do, I can say set the coverage to whatever I like. Uh, and I wouldn't send it to 100, 100 is too obvious. So I would just do something like 97.3 or let's say 42. So, which is a nice number. And I would like to reload that. So save that and reload that. As you can see, the code coverage increased to 97.42. And now the QAs, Q, QAs are happy and developers are happy. They don't have to write pointless unit tests. And what we can also do here, for instance, add a short uh, uh, explanation, really good coverage, just to make it even looks nicer. So thank you for watching. So what I actually uh, uh, showed you today is the override scripts in Chrome, which are a useful tool for for uh, for um, working with more complex web apps, but it's also useful for to increase uh, dashboard metri metrics, um, so to make your Q QA department happy. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming uh, workshops, um, web standards workshops, and web components, um, progressive web apps uh, workshops at Munich Airport. See you at conferences um, or even projects. So thank you and bye.